hello hello welcome to another reading and it is um tuesday january something 18th it's the 18th <sighs> hope everyone's having a good week <clears throat> Just realized I did not even set this up before I hit record, but you know what? Sometimes we just get into it, so here we go. Um, quick gratitude moment. I noticed more comments on some of the videos, so that's really exciting to me. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you do get something out of this. Um, I will be at some point switching channels like creating a new channel for this stuff but um until that happens just go ahead like share subscribe whatever it is you see here or my personal favorite um make yourself a private playlist and call it claimed so anytime you watch a reading or there's messages in things that you watch online not just in my own videos but maybe other videos if you watch like if you're ever interested in watching your horoscope for a particular week from other readers, that's what I do. I just put all that stuff sort of in one place so that energetically I can sort of like claim it for myself. So if there's, especially if there's positive reads or messages that I really want to integrate or absorb, um, then that's how I do it. This idea of the energy exchange is something I'm exploring a lot. The energy exchange is likely the name of my new channel the energy exchange i just love it it's like a currency exchange but with energy and so what happens when we you know freely give and receive positive energy only positive energy um sometimes we need, when, when we feel stagnant or we're like we're not moving it is an energetic thing like writer's block, you know, or, you know, usually it, it's in the form of some sort of creative block because it's like inside of us, there's a, a lack of motivation or lack of like that fire element, something that's just not, it seems like things aren't moving forward externally and you are also unable to propel them forward through your own actions or something so that's why the energy exchange right so a little bit of guidance or just something to spark it's like a piece of flint just like in a knife just that little piece of flint to spark something that that can you can then follow or lead on and on and on spread for today let's see what happens poised poised will it work I put on a new lens one day we'll get it just right folks just right to be fair that's a 48 a 38 on soulmates to be fair is the energy of justice aka Libra hmm If Soulmates is the Lover's card, that's Gemini. Libra, Gemini, my if I'm talking to anybody with Libra or Gemini in their chart. And poised is this energy of just being ready. Um, it's also like at the right place at the right time. Oh my gosh. By the way, this lady, to be fair, she's got an owl on her head and resting upon her shoulders, sort of above, are the arms of the scale. And on one side she has a fortune cookie. What does that say? North. It says north. And on the other side an egg. Oh boy, it's dark, but there, to be fair. Hmm. What can I what can I say about this? Um, a 
it's as if someone is appearing at the right place at the right time in your life. Like you have finally, you're, you're finally at the place where I think, yeah, you do need maybe a little bit of input. This is almost like the feeling of, <clears throat> hmm. Either you're at the right place at the right time and someone is coming in for you to help you out with something, to, to hold something accountable, for something to balance out. There's like another, there's another input that's coming in for you. It doesn't have to be another person. It could be. It doesn't have to be love. It could be. Um, it could be a teacher. It could be um, a friend, a business associate. But it's coming in at the right time to balance things out because now you're at the right place to sort of jump. This also could be just yourself, you finally feeling like you are, um, how do I say, you're ready to show up for yourself, I'll say that, finally ready to show up for yourself. Okay, let's pull a few more cards from the tarot and see what, what is clarified. By the way, the numbers are 48, 38, 41. That's a 3, 11, and a 5. So what I get from the numerology of this is that the messages, the communication being given right now is you are this this feels more like the latter explanation like you're finally showing up for yourself you're initiate you're because you're initiating into some sort of um, change or transformation it feels uncomfortable perhaps uh, but you can all that's if, if you feel any discomfort or anxiety it, it could be a result of you just sort of waking up feeling different and all the, you know in that way you're showing up for yourself because you're acknowledging yourself you're acknowledging your, your feelings okay let's see where the rest of this is ace of wands in reverse tower two of cups queen of cups seven of swords the devil in the middle, Capricorn energy. We're leaving Capricorn right now and going into Aquarius. There's Scorpio death, King of Pentacles. So there's the transformation. Um, I feel like, interesting. How do I say this succinctly? It's almost like if um, if you've been feeling confused and or like your enthusiasm for something is really starting to wear, like you're no longer interested in the things you were once interested in and that feels sort of like, what's going on? <laughs> That's a tower moment. That's a bit of a realization um, to think that maybe you have within you there has been something else all along like are you being fair to yourself by resisting some new inspiration or what's coming for you here because I see you wanting to make plans for the future but at the same time and, and transformation is here and the king of pentacles it's leading to some sort of high level of stability financial success or or, or power stability that transformation heads in this direction, but you're sort of like looking at the past, like how do I, everything that I've known, where does it go? Where does it go? Oh, I already know what song I'm gonna choose for the recommended listening. So, the devil is in the middle. This is about freeing yourself. It doesn't have to, and the hangman is in the reverse seen as like the needless sacrifice or like the martyr but like hear me out the 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 hanging man in reverse is the energy of only seeing things in black and white and not really when we see things in just black and white that can cause a lot of anxiety because we 
and maybe this is why Libra is showing up in the middle. Choices. Libras have a really difficult time making choices. And so if this is regarding a choice for you, I do see two twos on the table. This might be regarding a choice. Do I do this or do I do that? Um, I see you sort of... Something happens and you start to see that maybe you're not really on your right path. Um, and and there, there might be... Um, some icky feelings of, well, I haven't been real with myself, I haven't been listening to my intuition, I'm resisting something coming in, some sort of move. It could be physical, it doesn't have to be, but it might as well be. It could just be energetic, sort of moving from one situation to a different one. And so what really wants to happen is, I think you should chase this feeling of being free from the construct of this or that. I think there's another option um, that either you don't see or just simply doesn't exist. But just because it doesn't exist doesn't mean you can't make the way to it. You know what I mean? Um, what else can I say? Um, here are a few few messages. Sometimes I like to read the rose along with the cards up top. Just some some more messages. Not sometimes non sequitur, as in they don't follow as part of the bigger story. But just some messages for anybody, if it resonates. Um, uh, true strength. Uh, uh, p power is received, power is derived from power, true power is not repressing feelings, not repressing your emotions, not sacrificing or leaving behind parts of yourself, but rather embracing them. Yep. <laughs> okay. That wasn't anybody, by the way. It was like, it was a scam. A scam likely. Um, what other messages do we have here? Um, if you feel like you've been holding yourself back somehow, if, if, if you've realized that maybe you've been in your own way this whole time or something has been, if you're coming to terms with something that has been really making you behave inauthentically either towards yourself or towards others there is a really positive um, energy available that is begging transformation through liberation through some sort of freedom here so I feel like the choice is to behave authentically um, or the thing what the, what spirit is asking is to is to behave more authentically like you have something I think unique to offer a unique perspective and um, you and other people want the same thing. They just want someone who's honest and, um, and truthful. So you can do your part by showing up as who you really are. And I think the rest will follow suit. So, or some transformation will happen and it might be... It might be uncomfortable. There, there is a transition here, but um, it will ultimately lead to some sort of stability. So... That's, that's what happens, right? I sort of am reading these backwards, but they don't have to follow again, so it's just take what, what works and leave the rest. Poised, the tower, six of swords in reverse, and two of wands. Yeah, this is, so this is the oscillation of, um, holy shit, I need to make a decision. Like, I'm at a crossroads. Poised is, is the energy of, I'm here. What do I do now that I'm here? Is the energy of poised with the tower. There's resistance to moving on, and yet you want to make plans. It's almost like you're planning, 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 but not moving. So read now the messages backwards. You know, be up, 
be real to yourself about what it is that you really want, what's going to make you feel free, what's going to change the situation for you, what's going to, you know, if we're afraid of changing ourselves, then, you know, look at that, read into that, or ask me for a reading and I can read into that. Um, and trust your, trust your intuition. Trust that the pieces of you that you've left behind needlessly are actually the key to some sort of success here. Because that's where you're authentic. That's where your root lives. Yeah? Um, <clears throat> no clarifications today. I think that's it. Okay? So, like, like the video. Subscribe to it, if you will. Um, I'll keep posting until I figure out a way to... Um, start the new channel and stuff like that so um things for the year for the coming year i got a new rock yesterday from grandma check it out will it allow me to show you it's a little oop. <laughs> it's a little labrador heart labrador lab labradorite also a good stone for transformation so here you go you know uh, pick yourself up a little rock and or just gaze into its beauty. Alright, I believe in you. You can do this. Have a good day.